All right, so we just parked it. We are here on the coast of Florida. We got some palm trees. We got some nice tropical looking stuff here. We got everything almost ready to go. We're going to the beach and we're gonna be doing a kind of fishing that I have not done in a long time. But before that, um, we have something, yeah. That is a window that has no window anymore. Uh, yeah, stuff happened. We'll talk about that here a little bit, but let's get over to the beach. Let's get this day started. We have made it. Somebody, I guess, didn't check the weather report. It's, it's pretty freaking windy out here. We're ducking down behind this, uh, nice. We're ducking down behind this, like, seagrass stuff. Let me just show you guys what we're gonna be doing. So, we don't really do too much fishing like this, especially if I'm not in Delaware. And also, I guess on the road trip, I forgot my really big rods, so hopefully these work. I have our trusty PVC pipe rod holders right there. Very special. So here's what we're gonna be doing, man. I'm gonna be soaking this in the hopes of catching some fish in Florida that I've never caught before, including pompano and other stuff. So uh, right here, y'all can see that we have some tiny little circle hooks. I think those are size two. And then this little thing right here helps it float. So it's gonna be in the water like that. One lower, that's gonna be in the water like that as well. And then we have a three ounce pyramid sinker, which hopefully that's gonna keep us, I don't know, the tide's coming in. It's freaking windy. Hopefully this keeps us down there and not moving all around. We have two rods with us today and on those, hopefully I'm gonna be finding some bait in the ocean and sand. We'll look at that in a second. But also at the taco shop where I bought this stuff real quick, we just picked up some fish bites and shrimp flavoring. They didn't have sand flea flavor, but shrimp, a lot of things in the ocean eat shrimp. So I'm gonna put this on and yeah, we're just gonna try to catch some freaking fish, man. Hopefully some stuff to eat. But as I said, I've never caught a pompano before. And I don't know if permit are up here. I don't know much about these Florida fish. I know it could be jack, blue fish, maybe. So many different types of fish in the ocean, especially in Florida. But just look at the water, man. Let's pan over there real quick. It is like bluish, greenish. This is a really cool area. Let's get these in. Hopefully it stays and we can do something. I don't know. Yeah. All right, y'all. As I said, it's freaking windy, dude. As you guys can see, the palm trees over there are swanging. Let's go right here. First things first, we have to insert our spikes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, dude, that's crazy. This guy's got his like, oh. <laughs> He's got like a surfboard thing with a, I don't even know how, what you call those things. Crazy looking. All right, that should be good. Oh man, it is freaking windy. There's literally no way to put these in to look cool while doing it, I swear. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right, two sand spikes in the sand. What y'all doing, seagulls? That's what I thought. This is the fish bites. Basically, if you don't know what fish bites are, it's kind of like a gauze strip in between some slow melting gum, I guess you can kind of say. I'm just gonna cut it with the pliers here. All we want are baby pieces. What this does is, uh, so we have the shrimp one. It's gonna smell like shrimp. It's just gonna sit down there pretty tough to get off the hook like for these fish to actually take them whatever like shrimp which is a lot of stuff in the ocean should maybe bite the circle hook and the nice thing about circle hooks is that while this is out there we don't need to be right on top of it hopefully they'll get it in their mouth they'll run with it hook themselves in the corner of the mouth oh we're tangled from the wind oh gosh I just don't oh man it's really picking up wind holy is this three ounce seeker gonna be enough probably not <laughs> But uh, yeah, I just don't know much about pompano. And apparently people in Florida freaking love pompano. I don't know if that's good or not. We're just gonna roll with it. Tighten that down. And see if that will stay. I had to take the shoes off. We gotta get a better cast now, that's one. That looks like it should be better. Okay. 
Look at this. It's so hard to tell what is a bite and what's the wind and what's the water. Yeah, this is interesting. Huh. Should I even put the other rod in? <laughs> what am I doing out here? Hey, maybe on the worst of days can be the best fishing. Holy. Windy. So windy. Sometimes when you're against the odds, that is when the coolest stuff happens. Ooh, the sun's about to go behind a big old freaking cloud right there. So yeah, I'm just literally watching this tip, seeing how much it's moving me, and then uh, before I throw the other rod in and get them completely twisted, tangled, just seeing what's going on. We're definitely moving a lot. I think when the high tide kind of comes though, which is in like 45 minutes, it should start being more slack and then going out. So hopefully my bait can have a freaking break at that time. Oh, that was a big pull down right there. Is it an excuse? Maybe, but am I just a guy from Delaware? Maybe. Let's see where this is actually at. Have you guys ever done some fishing like this on a day like this? Let me know. So we're still to the left. It went, it moved a little bit. I will catch a freaking fish. Oh my god, I do have fish on. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, first fish of the day. What is that? I thought, dude, I knew I had a fish on there. All right, so I literally, oh my gosh. What is that? What the freak is that? It's a catfish. A saltwater catfish? Can you eat those? Um, do I have my pliers? Oh, oh. So I literally came over here, cracked a cold one, AKA, the sparkling water it was nice and frosty here's my pliers i don't know if these dudes have uh, spines on them dude that's so cool whoo whoo the tide's starting to go out all right seagull you're not eating my catfish man whoo oh there he went i was gonna take a picture um <laughs> all right first fish of the freaking day did not expect a saltwater catfish again please let me know down in the comments below like do those guys have anything to harm you well <laughs> first fish of the day i'm not gonna lie it seemed highly unlikely that that was going to happen i cannot be more excited right now like this is a great day it's been so cold like i literally have no room to complain about temperatures but when it's like 30-ish in florida like that's it's pretty crazy so that, oh, my pliers are all the way down here. Hello? Hook to ya ya. But yeah, it's one thing like to go fishing in Delaware in like 30-ish degree weather because the fish are kind of used to it. Here, they're not like these fish, I, I, I've heard they kind of just shut down, especially weather that cold. They'll shut down for like almost a week. It'd be a little bit more tricky here when it comes to cold stuff. But we're getting through it. But yeah, I mean, today it's not, it's not even cold, dude. It's a freaking beautiful day. Today is 75 out here. It's blowing like 18 to 20, like consistently. I don't know if y'all can see, there's like a storm front that's passing off the coast. It's just like a super beautiful day though. We got the sun shining. These palm trees are swaying. It was the sandwich. 
sandwich. I literally, so I was fishing and I went over there and sat down. I was like, this is nice. Like I was just enjoying the beach. Yeah. And I cracked that sparkling water and it was like the most refreshing thing ever. I was so happy. And then I ate the sandwich and it was so good. What's that black thing out there? Where? Right there. Holy crap, what is that? Is that a manatee? That's a manatee. Is it? Yeah. That was a big freaking manatee. Dude, that was huge. That's like freaking animal planet crap. That was his face, you saw it? Yeah. Dude, that's so cool. Last time my sister was at this beach, she said she saw like a 10 foot hammerhead shark or something, so. There's uh, stuff out there for sure. The ocean is just a crazy place, man. Come on, please fish. They're tired of me only catching one fish a video. <laughs> I may just be the best fisherman of all time. In all honesty, we are due for like a really good fishing day. Like seriously. So, we gather here today because I have freaking stories. If you have not been keeping up with the videos, basically I am staying at my sister's house right now. We parked the camper in some storage and uh, yeah, she lives down here in central Florida. So, we're just staying here for a little couple weeks, I think. I know it can get like kind of confusing when we're in the RV and then we're going here and now we're here and it's, yeah, yeah. Do you ever just feel like something is cursed and just like stuff keeps happening so you remember this cap that we just put on right and i made a whole video about it how cool it's going to be and uh how it already had some previous issues basically when they put the cap on the guys at the cap place were like yeah if you weren't leaving like tomorrow we probably wouldn't even put it on as i showed you all that i mean there's like some physical defects i don't know if you can see it or not there's a pretty big dent right there dude's thumbprint right there there's one of those on the other side scratches and paint stuff and a couple different things, right? Which, whatever, it's cosmetic. On that side as well, like the frame of the window is all super bowed out and stuff like that. But other than that, just like, it was mostly cosmetic issues we had with this thing. So get this, right? I take the cap to go get tinted because if we're gonna be doing stealth camping and stuff like, I was like, all right, let's just whap a limo tint on there. And then I wanted to get these front two a little bit darker because I mean, when we're driving, you get like sunburned sometimes. We, we do a lot of driving. Here's where it gets interesting. I take the truck to go get tinted i come back the guy's not done yet but he comes over to me he's like man we have a problem this window right here the one i showed you guys earlier it completely spider glassed and shattered and all of the glass i mean there's even still like they didn't even sweep it completely out there's glass all over the bed of the truck from this freaking window and this is the situation we got now this thing is freaking cursed so that put me in a weird situation i was like oh geez like I guess, is there somewhere I could get it fixed? So we kept calling around. Like it happened on the guy's watch. So he's like, all right, well, I'll pay for it. That's why he has insurance and stuff in case anything breaks, I guess, like that. He said he was literally just trying to open the window. And uh, there's even a piece back here. Where is it? So that is the part of the window. There's one on that side too, so that you can have the screen out. But you see what I'm saying, right? Like that puts me in a weird situation. Cause it's like, if that what, like if he did just try to open it, then that's completely on Lear. Like that's the cap's fault. I have actually never tried to open either of those windows before. Probably should have done that like when I went to freaking get it. Either way, I had to make a crap ton of calls, right? Nobody has this part. It's gonna take two to three weeks because apparently Lear doesn't ship out like the pan, I, I, don't, I don't know. They don't like ship glass. Like we can't just get the glass shipped. And the truck top dealer here told me that I'll need to get this whole thing replaced. So both these windows and this whole thing, which they quoted, over $600 for the installation. Now mind you, we just put this cap on two weeks ago. And usually I wouldn't tell you guys this, but for the story's sake, this cap was like $3,000. So not cheap. I thought like, all right, we'll get the cap. And I made the whole video explaining how we're gonna save money with it. And I was, what the freak, dude? I don't know if this is making any sense or not, but the Delaware Topper people, they said that if it broke when he opened it, that they probably tightened the handle too hard. So when he opened it, I don't even know if you guys care about this at all, but. Yeah, but also I have no way of knowing what the guy at the tinning place did. He could have done something. I, I don't know. Regardless, if you're looking for a headache, um, get, get one of these caps, man. Really quick, one more thing about the truck too. Look at like the tinning job right here. Like you can see, like see right there. Like you can see through both sides. Um, they didn't really tint all the way down to the bottom. It's kind of harder to see over here during this lighting, but like, do I get them to redo that? that side and then up there is like that as well and then it's kind of bubbling in here there's just what is what is even my life man in short we just got this cap on like two weeks ago and now i don't have a window and i hope this wouldn't go like moldy and stuff because it's so humid and crap and freaking florida now we got glass back here we got to clean up so that's kind of an update uh what's going on in my life 
there's a lot of stuff behind the scenes. If you guys want to see me do, so look, I have a bunch of really cool ideas for the back of the truck and the stealth camping stuff. I'll tell you what, if we get 1,500 likes on this video, we'll go out there, we'll do our first stealth camp, even missing a freaking window. Again, man, I mean, we're in Florida. It's 50 degrees today, it's gonna get down. It's, it's been like 30s, 20s at night, which is cold, but I mean, we're in freaking Florida, dude. <laughs> Life is not, you know, it's not so bad. I know Delaware and a lot of the Northeast just got hit with a giant snowstorm, which I love the snow, but I mean, high key, I'm really happy, uh, you know, we're over here. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see. And also let me know if you know anything about that catfish I caught. I wish I could have got like better video or pictures. I'm just apparently the best videographer of all time, as well as fisherman, as well as truck topper haver. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts on everything, especially the truck stuff. We have some really cool stuff. I know I say this a lot, but like the next couple of videos, um, I'm really excited to show you guys, especially one thing that we just unboxed in it. Just, just wait on it. Yeah, man, as always, thank you guys so much for all the freaking support. All I gotta say, man, so let's keep this going. Thank you guys for watching. See you next you video.